Hello everyone, I am Prashant S. Malgi, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. Today, we will discuss decimation in time, fast Fourier transform algorithm, the learning outcome. At the end of the session, student will be able to draw and explain the signal flow graph for decimation in time FFT algorithm. So, previously we have already seen the divide and conquer approach for computation of DFT, in which a endpoint DFT can be computed in terms of smaller size DFTs. So, let us consider n is 2 raised to v. So, basically n is the power of 2 and we want to compute this DFT by using divide and conquer approach. Let us use column wise mapping for input action and uh, row wise mapping for the output xk that is DFT. <coughs> now, by choosing m equal to n by 2, and L equal to 2, it splits our input signal X of N into two data sequences of N by 2 points. As the first sequence is F1N which is equal to X of 2N, second signal is F2N which is X of 2N plus 1 with N equal to 0 to N by 2 minus 1. It means what? it is decimated into two sequences, one is all even valued samples of xn and second is a odd valued samples of xn. So, it means the with l equal to 0, the first column rather the first 0 sorry first uh, row will have all even samples of uh, x of n and the second row will have all odd samples of Excel. So, now let us consider this x k as we know x k is represented as n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x n w n k n which where w n is basically a Tudel factor which is e raise to minus j 2 pi by n right. So, in terms of that this is written as w n k n where k equal to 0 to n minus 1 gives you uh, n points of DFT XK, right. So, now this can be written in terms of even uh, samples of XN and odd samples of XN, right. So, this summation can be divided into two parts where all even valued samples are taken in first summation and odd valued summations are taken in second summation. So, this can be written as X of 2 M now this m will be 0 to n by 2 minus 1, right. So, now n to be replaced by 2 m, so it will be w n 2 m k, right. So, this gives you even and for odd this n I have to substitute as 2 m plus 1. So, m equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 x of 2 m plus 1. So, w n now once again n is to be replaced by 2 m plus 1 k, okay. So, you will get this. So, now If you write this W 2 n, okay, so W 2 n is basically e raise to minus j because W n is e raise to minus j 2 pi by n, W 2 n will be e raise to minus j 4 pi by n which is equal to e raise to minus j 2 pi by n by 2 which is W n by 2, right. So, W 2 n can be also be written as W n by 2. So, with this notation, now, this once again x k can be represented as, now I am representing x 2 m as we have known uh, already seen that it is uh, f 1 m. Now, this w 2 m k I can write as w m k n by 2, right. So, w m k n by 2 and now here this can be written as w 2 m k n which is once again w m k n by 2 and the remaining factor is w k n. So, w k n is taken as here right and this x of 2 m plus 1 as we have seen previously it is f 2 m right. So, 
Now, this DFT is now represented as this. Now, if you look at this and if you compare with this, this is as if it is a n by 2 point DFT of signal F1M. So, this I will represent it as F1K, where F1K is a n by 2 point DFT. Similarly, if you take this second part, the second part is a n by 2 point DFT of F2N. Right? So, n by 2 point DFT of F2N. So, now that will represent it as F2K. So, this xk can be written as f1k plus wkn f2k, where k equal to 0 to n minus 1 gives us n dft, n points of dft. Right. Now, making use of some symmetry property of wkn and periodicity property, we know that dft is periodic with period size of the dft. So, f1k is a n by 2 point dft. So, f1k plus n by 2 will be f1k f2k plus n by 2 will be f2k and wk plus n by 2 as per symmetry property. So, wnk plus n by 2 equal to minus wkn. So, with these, this xk can be written as xk equal to f1k plus wkn f2k for k equal to 0 to n by 2 minus 1 and k plus n by 2 so, if I take x of k plus n by 2 will be f1 k plus n by 2 which is equal to f1 k, w k plus n by 2 n which is equal to minus w k n, f2 k plus n by 2 which is equal to f2 k. Therefore, this x k which is n by n point dft now can be represented in terms of n point n by 2 point dfts f1 k and f2 k. Right. So, we have represented n n point dft xk in terms of n by 2 point dfts f1k and f2k. Now, let us recall the number of complex multiplication and complex additions required for computing n point dft because finally, we are comparing computations required for direct computation and your DIT FFT. Pause a video for a minute and think on this. Okay, so as we know, the number of computations required for computation of n point DFT by using direct computations is n square, and for n point DFT, the number of complex additions required are n into n minus 1. Okay, so now let us continue with this. Remember, now we want to compare these computations. For direct computation of F1K and F2K, because these are n by 2 point DFTs, require n by 2 square complex multiplications each. Now, n by 2 additional complex multiplications are required for multiplying WNK into F2K. Right? And then, with the first step, that is after dividing that n point dft into n by 2 point dfts the number of complex multiplications are for 2 n by 2 point dfts 2 n by 2 square plus additional n by 2 so which is n square by 2 plus n by 2 so which is approximately for a large value of n n square by 2 so the number of complex multiplications comes down from n square to n square by 2 and same way this is only with one step right so, in the next step, further decimation we can do. So, by decimating F1n and F2n in time results into n by 4 point DFTs. So, V11n as F12n. So, V12n as a F12n plus 1. So, basically V12 and V11n, these are two sequences we get by decimating your F1n in time. So, these two are n by 4 point DFTs. Similarly, from F2n, we get V21 and V22n, right? So, these are also two n by 4 point DFTs. So, it means what? Now, these n by 2 point DFTs F1k and F2k now can be written in terms of these n by 4 point DFTs. So, by computing n by 4 point DFTs, we can now compute these n by 2 point DFTs F1k and F2k. So, this is how we can do it. F1k equal to V11k, Wn by 2k 
v1 to k where k equal to 0 to n by 4 minus 1 on same lines f1 of k plus n by 4 equal to v11 k minus wk n by 2 v1 to k and same for f2 k and f2 k plus n by 4 which is written in terms of your n by 4 point dft is v21 and v22 k right so where v i j k are all n by 4 point dfts of sequences v i j right so now if we compare once again a computation of v i j k these are all n by 4 point dfts so they require and how many are there v11 k v12 k v21 k and v22 k so there are 4 n by 4 point dfts so they need 4 into n by 4 square complex multiplications with which we get okay additionally multiplications if we compare so 4 into n by 4 square means n square by 4 plus here you know need n by 4 multiplications here you need n by 4 multiplications means n by 2 plus for f 2 k multiplied by w k and n by 2 so those additional n multiplications so the total number of multiplications will be n square by 4 plus n right so once again if you compare for a large values of n so it is negligible so it comes out to be n square by 4 so with twice decimation it reduces from n square to n square by 4 almost one fourth of the total and the same way you can continue right so it means for n equal to 2 raised to v this decimation can be performed as v times v equal to log of n to the base 2 so the total number of complex multiplication is reduced to n by 2 log of n to the base 2 because there are n by 2 multiplications for each step so the number of complex additions will be n into log of n to the base 2 actually these uh, calculations we can understand from uh, this particular structure now remember this structure is known as a butterfly structure where you have suppose two inputs a and b and here is a multiplication factor some twiddle factor w dash n so this a comes here this b gets multiplied by w dash n so multiplication of this comes here as and here this is a summing point so it will be a plus w dash n b and here as it gets multiplied by minus 1 so this will give you a minus w dash n b right so basically because as we have seen x k written as f 1 k plus some factor into f 2 k and uh, k plus n by 4 as f 1 k minus some factor into f 2 k so this structure is going to help us to draw the <coughs> algorithm so this one structure actually requires one multiplication and there are two additions so one complex multiplication and two complex additions right so using this you can draw the signal flow graph remember here the input sequence comes in the bit reversed order right with one decimation it divides into 0 2 4 6 and second decimation 0 4 2 6 1 5 and 3 7 so now the first stage the computation of x k in terms of f 1 k and f 2 k f 1 k computation in terms of v 1 1 k and v 1 2 k right so using those equations you can draw this particular structure right so here the multiplication factor will be so one of the if i say this is f 1 0 plus f 2 0 so x of 0 will be equal to f 1 0 plus f 2 0 and uh, x of 1 will be f 1 1 plus f 2 1 into this factor w n k that is w 1 8 and so on so similarly you can understand this particular structure and this is what the signal flow graph references thank you